Hey guys, welcome to Ships 2017. Again, we're coming into another first impressions of a, a simulator games that you know and I love so, so much. <laughs> so here we go, first first impressions. Let's see what this game is all about. So I haven't played this game. I've just literally purchased it, loaded it up, pressed F8 to record, and here we are. So we're gonna go in straight into a new game and we're gonna read and, and see what this this game entails so welcome to ship welcome to ships 2017 in order to start a new game you'll have to buy your first ship the initial funds you are given allow you to pick only one out of available out of all available remember the ships you are purchasing are not new they require thorough inspection and repairs each vessel will give you access to a variety of different missions which you'll be tasked with for every task completed you'll be rewarded with cash to buy and repair the remaining ships Please click the button below to move to the purchase screen. Here we go. Sounds interesting as, as they say it is. So, okay, so we're in the, in the shipyard and we've got um, our, sh our buy screen here. So can we, we could, we've got $100,000 to spend. Um, let's see what we can buy. So here's a manufactured one of the biggest container ships ever made, um, the world ship. The shipyard contains several vessels the DCV builder, but that's cost two hundred twenty-five thousand dollars, so we won't be able to purchase that one, or we won't be able to purchase the orange ship, which is a semi submersible drilling rigs on its deck. So, um, yeah, unfortunately, we're gonna have to buy this one. The world, well, not unfortunately, but we'll have to buy uh, the only ship available to us now. So there we go. We just spent ninety thousand dollars, and we've got a remaining bank balance of ten thousand dollars. Those seagulls are super annoying. <laughs> Okay, so welcome to ship renovation mode or ships 2017. Let's continue. Your objective in this mission will be will be repairing ship. The damage scale is represented by four damage states. Great, red, yellow, and green. Okay, so tutorial. Broken, gray state means that part is completely damaged and needs replacing. Cost of such repairs is very expensive. Okay, so the engine exhaust needs to be replaced at 500k, so we'll, we'll go ahead and replace that. That's quite important, I guess. Go. It's been repaired, so it, there, it's been replaced. And see, it's changed, and there's a new. You see that the, the color changed. It got a new one as well. So, okay, so front container hold the bottom. So heavily damaged red state means that part is quite damaged and needs repairing. Cost of such repair is expensive. So, um, it's 340k to repair or 150 to regenerate. I'm not sure what these two really mean, but if we regenerate, they probably occur in the future again. So, all do is. Um, it's our first ship, let's just repair it over that needs to be repaired. So there we go, we've repaired that. And damaged yellow state means that part is damaged and can be repaired. The cost of such repair is average. So uh, the crew meets here. So the conference room is, is, is damaged, so we'll repair that for 65 k that, That's cool, that's not that bad. Undamaged green state means that the part is in good condition and does not need repair. Okay. So let's go. So we got the front mast, we have to go to the front mast and that is um, lamp and speakers are attached and that require repairs to so regenerate or repair so what we'll do is we repair that for 7k and we have a good a ship that's in good working order so we've got the, sh uh, the bridge section, bridge antenna, bridge service room, all this is all done front container hold the top of it is slightly damaged by the looks of it so it's 80k to replace that so what we'll do is replace that that's taken us to $8,308,000. And let's go to the rear container hold at the bottom. And that needs to be replaced at a cost of 780k. So we'll do that. We'll go ahead and replace that. My, these are expensive repairs. And the ship's drive system is basically damaged, so that we'll need to replace. Or else we won't be able to uh, to go anywhere. The ship wouldn't will, will, will be able to sail. Are we all good? No. We've still got loads of stuff. The side propeller is faulty as well, so we have to replace that. Or repair it. The other side must be replaced as well. Uh, propeller. Man, this ship is in, in, in serious state, isn't it? And another of the side propellers we need to repair. So I think we've repaired all that needs to be repaired so the ship is in good working order so you, like, you say, like they say here ship is ready to go now you can be begin a new mission so 
let's go and begin this new mission. So in the HUD bar at the bottom here, we've got new missions available. So I'm assuming we click on this little notepad. We've got our mission here. There we go. So how many missions have we got? Can I move or anything? No. So we've got one mission here. And it's basically daily work. Your task is to load five containers on board one of the largest container ships. Go ahead and do that. So welcome to first total mission ship 2017. Let's go. This is the bottom panel here. Our base uh, basic information about your mission. Current amount of money and three buttons. Mission briefing controls info and the time scale button. So th all this is basically in the HUD below here. Okay, continue. This is your current money. So we've got $7,485,000. This is your current objective and current objective progress. So this is I, I guess this is the bar. This is the progress bar. And this is mission briefing window with current mission objective and tips. So basically our container mission one consists of use port crane to hook unload containers from truck trailer. Attach container to hook and to transport it to the chosen place placing on the ship. And then detach the container from hook and use twist lock to attach it to the ship. This button since the current time speed. We'll, we'll just play at normal time speed. I'm not going to increase it at all now. Maybe maybe in the future when we sail into the, into the ocean, but for now, no, it's cool. And this control screen. So that we're good. This crane control panel uses the buttons to move the crane around the pier. A and D. So A. And there we go. And Q and E. Move the arms. Let's go and get that. Oh, oh yeah, we can move. There we go. So let's just get a nice view there. So we can move it across here and then let's just pick this bad boy up. Good, so store it. We're not quite there, so maybe we need to move a bit across that way. Is that a mine? No, that's like nearly way off, so when it that looks about right there. So we need to lock these by clicking it. Click and hold, so we have to click and hold. And these locks come down, so that's what we're doing now. So we just lock in the container onto the crane, and then we're gonna have to take it all the way up again, like so. Okay, well, do we need to move this to? So we have to put it in one of the red packs, the red that looked like a container to be honest, I thought it was a container, but it's not. So we're just going to put it in this slot here that you can see here on the side. Just zoom out a bit. A bit more. Let's align this. Like so. Should be good. to lower this bad boy down slowly and now we need to unlock this I guess let's just move it a tad well we'll just put it wet sides there too so let's unlock these Just yeah, we have to pick up some more. Okay, we can do that. Okay, 
I just love this simulator game. Uh, these, these games are, I, I don't know, there's something about them that I could spend literally hours and hours a day just playing these simulator games. Let's just make sure that we, we do load them up correctly. The, am the camera angles are a bit screwed because you have to like um, go zooming in and out, which is a bit... But I guess it's just like to align them up, so... We're good there. So, uh, there we go. Brilliant. Just locked this bad boy in place. Lift it up into the air, and then just. Um, do we literally have to put all these containers before we move the ship? I, I guess not, because we're gonna be here a long time. If that's the case. <laughs> I think they'll just put. They'll just make us put a couple, and then we can. You could probably sell the ship out of here. Do you imagine filling all this this ship with all these containers? They would take hours. But I guess in real life it does take that, that long, doesn't it? Let's just fit this one in here. Oh, sorry. Tad. Tad more. Good. Oh my god. No, we're not good. We need to move it. I think it's just that. It's, it's there you go. That one's quite quite large one, so we'll just move that one off. Hopefully that one goes there. Do we have to move? Are collecting moving on the way or not? Or do we have to just put this out of the way? Wow, there's an hour to go. <laughs> I'm guessing that we have to fill up all these. So, if it's true, we have to fill up all those slots. like clicking these here on the keyboard maybe it's quicker we, if we use these or maybe not <laughs> I don't know Again. Pick it up and just move at the same time. This is one long tutorial if we if we have to um is that height okay? We clear that yeah, clear that. So let's just plonk this one here. Graphics on this are pretty sweet as well. I know that they, they used the uh, I think it was a Unity en gaming engine that they did for this. Let's unlock it here. That's now 15k. Close container. Okay, so yeah, I've, I've just seen here. We have to load five containers. This is <laughs> there's, your, there's my answer to my own questions. We have to load five containers. So we've got two more to go. This is the third one, fourth one coming here. Once this is done, I guess we can sail somewhere. Okay, I think we're good there. 
I was down. Perfect. There you go. Getting the hang of this already, boys. Getting the hang of this already. Should we place on the same side? Yeah, we're just gonna place them all over here on the side of the ship. Hopefully we're not causing an imbalance in weight. I don't really think we are, but considering yeah. the amount of containers this ship is, is taking, man, this is this is gonna weigh. We we thought in the previous episode of that uh, we did in Euro Truck Simulator that this was gonna affect it, but uh, I don't think this is gonna affect the ship. Also, in water, it's not um, it's not land, so it's quite different. Ships have no brake, you know, so you have to. But you've got bow thrusters. Let's just move this a tad. To, um, press it down, and then it should be good. Yeah. What's the hold? There you go. I've got this one, and this is the fourth container. We've got one more to go. The lorry coin, the truck coin, and there it is. It magically appears. <laughs> Wait, where are you going? Can't you stop here? Yeah? Can't you see him? Yeah. Guess you're following orders. This, this one, this part of the, of loading the ship does take its time, I guess. Oh. Is that perfect? Oh, it's just nearly perfect. There you go. Oh boy, I'm a master at this already. <laughs> so I'm not I'm not sure we're gonna do a series of, of ships. I might do a series as well and continue um, alongside farming simulator and Euro Truck Simulator. I have a ship one so we've got we've got nearly all covered, we just need the the flight one which we're doing as well. But that takes that takes longer. The flight one takes a bit longer because I'm not the one that's doing the flight one. I've got a friend of mine that's doing flight simulator, so I've got to depend on, on, on him giving me the content basically. Uh, the rest of them are mine. And we've got a few games coming out in November as well. We've got Planet Coaster, remember? That's going to be a hell of a nice game. I'll be playing that a hell of a lot. Start lowering this here and we put it almost and we're almost in. Oh, we've got almost aligned and there we go. Let's just unlock it. And that's the five containers loaded. So there we go. So mission completed, daily work. The profit is um I, I think that's wrong. Five hundred five hundred seventy no, it's gotta be five hundred and seventy five K I think it is. Um, time 12 minutes and there's no damage so back to shipyard I guess so in the shipyard new missions available so let's see what the next mission is we've got the under control find a safe route to the port use your skills to control the container ship or we've got daily work which we've just done now so we're doing the under control so find a safe route to the ports use your skills to control the container ship okay. welcome to the second tutorial missions of ships 2017 your primary objective in this mission will be docking the ship in this story we'll be learning how to operate ship and what and what to be aware of so vertical slide in the bottom right corner controls ship speed corresponding keys to the slider are w and s okay w and s remember that time takes time to decelerate okay and the horizontal what, horizontal slide in the bottom right corner controls ships turning Corresponding keys to the slider are A and D. So it's W, S is like forward and back, I guess. Or we'll decelerate and accelerate. And then A and D is like turn the ship. Arrow located around the ship shows direction of the mission object. Okay. And continue. Remember that if your ship hits something, your budget will drop. Okay, so we're going to have to be careful not to hit anything then. Now you can try to dock your ship. Good luck. Remember during game, you can always check controls and objectives. Okay. Are we ready? So the, I think we're going to have to... That's our. That looks like our dock. So what we'll do is we we'll go around this little island here, 
and go straight in. Hopefully that is... So we're moving the ship forward. Is it moving? I it does take its time, so it's, it's a very, very heavy ship. But I guess we're... We're moving now. So what we'll do is... Yeah, we're moving. We're literally just moving. Are we moving or not? Yeah, if you look at the distance to dock, it's just like... So, what I need to do is just move away from... Um, I just want to clear this island here first. So we'll just move over, over, over to the left. And then take a right down into the, into the dock. I, I say it as it was really easy, but I don't think it is. I'm gonna just like stay away from the island there. And let's just move the ship forward now. So it's got 12 kilometers an hour. Is it 12 kilometers an hour? It could be 12 knots. I think it's. No, it's 12 kilometers. This is it kilometers? I don't think it's in knots. So. I think we can start moving the ship forward. Can we change like camera view or something? Doesn't look like it. Increase the speed of time. Yeah, it's moving. You can see it's moving. We increase the speed, but I don't increase the speed to be honest. Or we could increase the speed until maybe we clear this here. Yeah? So um, let's just more or less the middle there. So that's 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 cool. And let's turn 10 degrees to the right. Let's slow the ship, obviously. Let's slow the ship because I don't want it to go smashing into there. So I think with the momentum already there, that should be that should be okay. I think the momentum should carry that pointing straight just about. Let's just um, speed it up. No, my voice. I don't know. No, I'm only joking. My voice will be the same, just increasing the speed of the game. So we're just slowly, 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 slowly turning our way and facing the port. Let's accelerate a bit. And turn slightly. So we're just increasing like so. And then we should move the ship forward. So we're going forward there. Let's just turn it slightly there. Let's just lower the speed a tad and increase the game speed. So we're going in, going in. Maybe we can increase it a bit more, a bit more, a bit more so that we get to the second pier and let's just slow it down just going to turn a degree to the left and let's line this this bad boy up let's let's bring the speed to a halt here until we turn him or her and then we can move forward very very slowly very very slowly there we go and then she'll just tick over into the final. Let's just turn her a bit. So she's literally, yeah. So that's perfect. Just let's lower the speed a bit. Count to six kilometers. Watch out, you should start to, yeah, we're gonna start uh, the accelerating. Successfully docking requires fitting in the shown bounds. You don't You don't need to stop exactly in the center, but um, we just need to turn her a bit more, like so. Oh, speed is 8 times 8 in game. I, th I said I wasn't going to speed it up, but if I would have left that to travel in um, one time speed, that would take a long time. Let's just speed it up a bit. And then once our, our chimney hits where the, the crane is here, hopefully that crane's not going to... Is that crane going to smash into the front? No. Okay, we're de de-accelerating now. And let's just squat snail's pace, literally 3 kilometers forward. So we can bring that to our holds. Let's just leave it to cover until we get into the dock. Uh, we should be doing it, we should be there nearly there. We should be nearly there. I'm just gonna take the foot off the not the foot, the hand off the accelerator a bit. It's bouncing hell of a lot. There's a lot of weight in there. There's a lot of weight in there. 
just bring it to one. And then we're just gonna stop the thing. If we just move it a tad. We're in? Let's just close this control here. Oh, we're in. There we go. Mission completed, guys. Mission completed. So we got $57,560,000. That was a good profit margin. The time taken is 23 minutes, but I think that that is in-game 23 minutes. And I don't think it was my 23 minutes. Let's see what we have. We've got our ship is in good order. We don't have to do anything. But we've got new missions available. And we've got a unloading. So the task is to discharge the five containers from the deck. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... Do, um, discharge the five containers we put on on the first tutorial and then i'm gonna leave it there and then what we're gonna do is i said that i i don't think i was gonna do more series but this game looks cool and i, I want to purchase new new ships i want to go places maybe cruise liners tugboats different ships so i'm just gonna do this um tutorial i'm gonna leave it there and then i'm gonna go come back next week with um series or episode one of ships 2017 now we'll and we'll kick it off from there so let's just finish this real quick. So I've got to take off the designated containers, so the different containers around the ship. So let's take off this green one here. And then we're going to shift it across. One, one. Let's lock it into place, like so. We got hundred and seven thousand dollars. That we we've, we've literally gone up. We've gone up. So these are the profit margins we're looking at. We'll, we'll be doing good. We'll be doing really good. I'm gonna put this on to um, to the truck, and we'll be delivered with your truck in the next episode. I'm not kidding. <laughs> that would be awesome, though. That would be pretty awesome. Unload it? No, I think we have to move in. There we go. We've got to unload it now. Excellent. So that was quite successful. For the first one. We've got four more to go. I'm going to get the furthest one away, which is over there. I'm going to start moving this bad boy out. So. We can go aligning it while we're moving, so we're getting the hang of this big time. Okay, so around about there. And then move. That's there. And over there. The controls are a bit obscure actually, because there are you have to counter the, the way you go. So if you're going, you want to go left, you have to hit right, and so on. So. There we go. Not not exactly aligned with the container, but that will do, I guess. Moving it was, it was getting locked, but I don't know. I'm not going to move this already. And by the time that gets to the position of the truck, which is in lane 3, just about lane 3, right there. And we can start lowering it. Let's just go around. There we go. Oh, is it like snapping into the zoo? Is that? That looks. Oh, okay, 
so I just need to go a bit more back. There we go. Perfecto mundo. Sorted. Sorted. Now we've got three more to go. This is different from Euro Truck and farming, definitely different. And again, I'm from Gibraltar, so I, I see this pretty much from my work window. I pre see much this every day. So let's see. And numero cuatro. Let's go. Move this bad boy back. That was our third one. We got two more to go, which is right over on the other side of the ship. They're quite close together, so that's cool. I think we're good. I think we're good. But boy, this this ship is huge. This is our ship, though, which is quite, which is good. The, the good thing about maybe this is that we don't have to unload all of our containers. If we had to, if we had to unload all those containers, boy, would be here a hell of a long time. No joke. We could be here for hours and hours on end just unloading containers. But which begs begs the question: Can we can we hire people on here? Do we hire loaders and unloaders? Because we are, we are, we are, we are captains, right? We have to sail the ship, man. <laughs> we have to sail the ship. Whoa. Couldn't the truck park here? Why did he have to park all the way down there? Just making me work for my money? That's what it is? You're making me work for my money? Are you jealous? Let's increase the speed a bit. Well, this is a bit... Um... <laughs> okay. I just need to split this up. <laughs> the position of the, of the speed is just too much. It's All we can do is lift this, increase the speed here. Just lift this and get it back to. Oh, just to. Uh, okay, let's just put this back in where it was. Should be good. Slower it again. Make sure we align everything. Where are we going? Oh, man. Okay, 
and this is our last container what would be really cool is if we can um, sail like a, a cruise ship okay, all the way to I don't know across the Atlantic Ocean or transatlantic cruise would be cool from America to Japan or something like that or China somewhere exotic Last load. Oh, let me just take that speed up. There we go. Let's just plunk it in here. Oh, I got no oh, lift. Yeah, I just slightly put it down a bit too fast on the last container, but I lost a bit, a bit of money. Not a huge amount. Not a huge amount. We'll see now on the on the mission report. So, damage, no there wasn't any damage, that's cool, we're good. Our ship is in brilliant um, condition, we've got new missions available, which is uh, a through stormy seas, but look guys, I'm going to leave it right here, and that through stormy seas, we're going to play it on the next, on the next um, series, on the next video. So basically you have to arrive on time to designate the port, despite the des deteriorating weather conditions, that's going to be awesome, so I'm going to leave it right here, and I'm going to make you guys look forward to that, so, all in all, ships... 2017 is a brilliant game, it looks really, really interesting. They've done a brilliant job on the graphics and the gameplay, the mechanics are really good. I need to find out if we can change camera views, maybe be in the actual deck, be in the cabin where we can view the ship's controls. I've got to, I've got to investigate that. Um, but yeah, all in all, it's a good game. If you want to see more of these series, smash that like button, leave the comments below, guys, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.